are going to talk about why is it so hard to get good front back alignment when we are printing out our print and play files. And this is one of the most frequently asked questions on our Facebook group, the Print and Play Hideaway, and on other print and play forums that I'm involved with. So in this video, we're going to talk about that. Why is it so hard? Good news, it's actually possible to get good front back alignment as long as you follow some practical tips that we're going to share with you here in this video. So let's get started. So the first question is, why is it so hard to get good front back alignment? And there's a couple of dimensions to answering this question. So first of all, you're talking about a physical process, right? There are pinch rollers inside of every printer and they have to actually catch or grab the paper and then pull it into the printing mechanism of the printer. And because it's a physical process, it's not just, it's not just a digital process, then there can be variations small tiny variations in how that process happens in when the paper is pulled by the pinch rollers and other variables are the surface or finish of the paper different papers whether it's glossy whether it's matte can affect how that paper is pulled in when that paper is pulled in other factors such as how much paper is there in that tray? Um, if there's more paper, if the stack of paper in the tray is higher, then that might change when that paper is pulled in as opposed to when it's lower. Um, one big factor is the age of the printer. Uh, as your printer gets older and that printing mechanism gets more wear and tear, uh, then it could also affect the accuracy of the front back alignment. So there's a lot of different variables. Another factor that you might consider is the print and play file itself. How was it formatted? Was it actually formatted with good front back alignment or were there offset between the front image and the back image? So as you can see, there's a lot of variables. And then people want an easy answer, right? People want like, just tell me, which printer I should buy that'll give me good front back alignment? It seems like a reasonable question. It seems like something like if we, if we, if we compare it to other products, let's, let's say you want to buy a car. Um, what is a good quality, reliable car? And that's a very, uh, you know, uh, common question that people might ask. And you might think, that you can apply that same thing to a printer. Just tell me the make and model of the printer that I should buy so that I can get good front back alignment and not have to worry about it. And the thing is, that's actually not true, right? For small home office level printers that you can purchase, you know, in the uh, $200 to $500 price range for your home, um, these printers are generally not designed for good front back alignment. Um, so I could tell you I'm happy with my HP Smart Tank 7300 printer. I'm happy with the front back alignment. Um, I get pretty good front back alignment every time I print. And then you turn around and you say, well, okay, Martin told me to get this make and model of printer. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And then you buy it, you take it home, and you don't get good front back alignment. And now you're angry at me. You're like, Martin, why did you tell me, why did you recommend this printer if I, it's not giving me good front back alignment the way you said? And I will tell you, it is for me. It may not be for you because this kind of exposes the reality, which is even within the same make and model of printer, there can be those variables, those variances between, you know, the type of paper and the moment that the paper is caught by the pinch roller and the amount of paper in the tray and even the temperature outside or you know where the printer is could be a variable. Um, whether the temperature is higher or lower could cause small variations in when that paper is brought into the print mechanism. Uh, small variations, but could be enough to cause issues like this, right? So just want to end this section by saying, this is why, this is why it's so hard to get good front back alignment because of all these variables. So it's not an easy question to answer. But I do have some good news for you. 
front back alignment of your print and play PDF files is possible as long as you follow some practical tips which we're going to get into right now. So let's get started. So tip number one is keep your paper tray to about half full to three quarters full. This is what I've noticed in my printer and when I get a poor front back alignment, it's usually because the printer tray is either too empty, we're down to the last few sheets, or it's too full. Um, so you want to get into that kind of middle zone where, like I said, just keep your printer tray between half full to three quarters full. And that generally leads to better front back alignment in my experience. So that's tip number one. Now, tip number two, and probably the most important tip I can share, because this is going to work for the most number of people, is use manual duplex printing. So a lot of printers have automatic duplex printing, as you see in this kind of print dialog here. Oh, over there. You know, a lot of newer printers have automatic duplex printing. Um, if that's working for you, if you're getting great alignment with your automatic duplex printing, then you don't have to do anything else. Stay with that. Basically, whatever you try that is actually working, stay with it. So if automatic duplex printing is working for you, then there's no reason to change. But for most people, uh, I have found, and especially in my case, um, when I was using auto duplex printing, the backs of my print and play files, the card backs, for instance, would print out generally about two to four millimeters lower on the page than the fronts. And in other times, uh, other printers that I've had, they would actually print out higher. But whatever it was, whether it was higher or lower, they wouldn't um, be printing at the same level uh, on the on the kind of Y axis. And so if that's happening to you, then switch over to manual duplex printing. And what that is basically is once you print out the fronts, manually flip the page over, make sure that the orientation is correct, reinsert it into the printer tray, and then print out the backs. In my case, what I like to do is I like to print out all of the fronts. Let's say I'm printing out a 10 page uh, print and play file. It's got 10 fronts and 10 backs. So 20 pages technically. I'll print out all the fronts first and then I will flip the entire stack. I will arrange them so that they will come out in the right order and then I'll reinsert and then I'll print out all the backs. So use manual duplex printing if automatic duplex printing is not giving you um, well aligned front back um, print and plate printing. All right, the next tip that I can share is Thinner paper is generally better than thicker paper. And what I mean by that is 65 pound cardstock, uh, and that in GSM is about 176 uh, GSM thickness paper, is probably the sweet spot for me in terms of generating good front back alignment. Um, I used to print to kind of 110 pound uh, cardstock and the alignment just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it was very, very frustrating. Once I switched over to thinner 65 pound cardstock, then my front back alignment got better and my frustration level lowered. So I wanna stress this point. Um, thinner cardstock is better in general for small home office printers than thicker paper for good front back alignment. So keep that tip in mind. Now, the next tip is, and this is not all printers are going to support this, but if yours does, check your printer settings, your printer dialog box for alignment calibration control. So for example, here's uh, an example that I can put on the screen. Um, some printers allow you to change the front, the, the margin, the top margin, the right margin, um, and uh, that could be helpful for you, right? If you're able to uh, adjust the alignment level inside of your printer settings, then that might actually solve your problem and you don't have to do anything else. Um, do some test printing to figure out if this is something that, you, that, that works for you. Um, 
uh, I have never, in any of the printers I've owned, um, had a control for this type of um, XY kind of uh, changing of the uh, of the alignment. Um, I've owned HP printers for the most part. Um, so if you have a different brand of printer, check your printer dialog box to see if you have settings to change your alignment calibration. Now here's another tip, and again, not all printers are going to support this, but if your printer happens to have a rear feed tray, then some users have reported that in general, when you're doing manual duplex printing, rather than reinserting the page into the printer tray, use the rear feed on the back of your printer. Um, and folks report that that also is one thing that you can try that can yield better front back alignment. So that's another tip that I'll pass on. Now, you've tried everything. You've tried all the tips that we've shared with you in this video, and you're still not getting great front back alignment. There's still something that you can do. And that is use online tools, online free websites to adjust your print and play file alignment. So there is a website, and you're seeing it on the screen, it's called pnpbuddy.com. It's created by Alexander Norback, who's somebody who's been in the print and play community for a while, and he wants to help. And he actually taught himself how to code, and he actually uh, created this free website, and he's been keeping it and maintaining it all this time for a couple of years now. And it has a free and very useful feature to help with front back alignment. And that is the align the PDF alignment tool. And I've used this myself many times, and I can tell you that it is a lifesaver. So basically, I noticed that with my current printer, my HP Smart Tank 7300, my fronts and my backs were about two millimeters misaligned. So I would upload my PDF, my print and play PDF, to pnpbuddy.com's PDF alignment tool. And then I would use the uh, the controls in there to tell it uh, nudge my card backs about two millimeters to until they're perfectly aligned with the card fronts, and then it would uh, output an edited version of my print and play PDF where the card backs, the entire card back image has been nudged the amount of space that I told it to in millimeters, and then when I go ahead and print it out, it prints out with pretty much spot on front back alignment. So with an, an, an alignment tool like this, an online free alignment tool, you have the ability to measure how much misalignment you're getting on the fronts and backs of your print and play PDF. So if you do a test print, take a ruler and measure how much that is in millimeters and then adjust, modify your PDF file using pnpbuddy.com. Uh, there's a couple of other websites, but this is free and it's easy and it works and it's made by somebody in the print and play community. And so that's why I'm talking about it. But pnpbuddy.com PDF alignment tool is your go-to to be able to actually modify your PDF files for that good front back alignment so that when you print them out, you're going to have good fronts and backs aligned. All right. So let me go ahead and summarize the six tips that I've shared with you here in this video. So to get good front back alignment, tip number one, make sure that your paper tray is one half to three fourths full. Tip number two, try manual duplex printing. Print your fronts first, then flip the page, reinsert into the paper tray, and then use the backs. Number three, thinner paper is better for alignment than thicker paper. Uh, my sweet spot is 65 pound cardstock, 48 to 65 pounds. Now, bear in mind, I laminate my print and play cards. So these thinner cardstocks, when I laminate them, they are pretty much spot on in terms of thickness, uh, comparable to manufactured playing cards. So that really works well with my process. Um, you may have to experiment if you're producing your cards in a different process, then you may need a different thickness. But bottom line, thinner paper is generally better than thicker paper for front back alignment. Um, Number four, check your printer settings dialog and check your printer's manual because you may actually have a control in the dialog box to be able to adjust your front back alignment. So check that out. Number five, if your printer has a rear feed tray, then 
try using that because some users have noted that you generally get better front back alignment when you're doing manual duplex printing by using the rear feed tray. And number six, if you've tried all of these other tips and you're still not getting great front back alignment, use a free online web tool such as pnpbuddy.com's PDF alignment tool to be able to adjust your PDF files. It's not that hard. Uh, I was intimidated at first and then I took a look at it and then I messed around with the settings. I did a little bit of test export of PDF and I learned how to use these tools and it's not that difficult. You know, it's intimidating at first if you're not that computer savvy, but um, just spend some time with it and uh, it, you can actually figure out how to, how to make it work for you. All right. So that is my video that takes us to the uh, ending of our video, the conclusion of how to get good front back alignment. I hope that this video has become uh, useful for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, more content like this on my channel, well, you know what to do. Go ahead and like and subscribe and get a notification. Press that button. Um, any little thing that you can do, any engagement you can have with my videos uh, helps to increase the numbers and increase the, you know, how it's uh, promoted on YouTube and uh, all of that stuff is uh, has an effect toward um, making these videos helping me to make these videos more of these types of content for you all right until the next time this has been martin thanks for watching